And we're back. Ho ho, boardies. Welcome to Borderline Games. I'm Gareth, and this is Danganronpa, episode 33, I think. Uh, last episode, we learned that Junko is still alive. Mukro and Junko uh, are both the ultimate despair, essentially. From the very beginning, Mukro was, has been disguised as Junko, and it was actually Mukro that died before the first class trial, like 20 episodes ago. Now let's see what Monokuma has to say. Not much, it looks like. Again. <laughs> Junko's gonna come down, I think. You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! Monokuma opens up and there's a tiny Junko inside. It's not like you're an endangered species or something! How long do you plan to keep hiding? So is it Junko and uh, Makuro that built Monokuma? That seems unlikely. Monokuma. Give it up, Junko. The game's over. <laughs> over. Oh. <laughs> it's not giving up the game. Did you really think the story would end once we reach the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! Hmm. There she is. Oh look, she's got the little bears. It's a hairpiece. She just appears. Like you to appear. <laughs> if okay. you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with half of the entire world. We've even drawn up the deed already. We will grant you honor, status, in some of our home cooking. <laughs> Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? Okay. No thanks. Did you think I was being serious? <laughs> Sorry, I was just messing with you. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. Weird. This is the mastermind. She's the real Junko uh, Inoshima. Anyway, Inoshima. Looks like I've finally been Junko Inoshima. Having to play Monokuma all the time, day after day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory, or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? <laughs> face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. <laughs> Like the voice is crazy. This isn't the first time I've seen it. Hmm. No, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to this school. Oh, why would I put either of these if he's just said it before I got to this school? I got it. I got it. It's That's before the school. It was before I ever came to this school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. That's right. You were on it. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began... I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? Ah, well, of course. Those are totally Photoshop. So it actually wasn't her. Photoshop. Yeah, you know, edits to hell and back. With, like, computers and junk? Oh, so they aren't real. 
Sometimes a little lie is necessary mm. to keep things moving along. Should have been thinking even back then. That explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. I'm me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. <laughs> she tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. Not even. Twins! Oh, they're supposed to be twins. I know. It's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So basically, Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud. That was Could we get Mukuro. you to do that read again, but put a bit more life in it, please? And cute. That was... <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Right next to you killed your own sister? And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. <laughs> As if. Well, I suppose I'd better explain. <laughs> for my plan to work, someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. But why did she need to be disguised as you? I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. <laughs> It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's... why you switched identities? Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her. To meet everyone's expectations. Okay. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no. Of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? What is happening? So, I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point. In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided no premeditated oh, she's behaving. betrayal. Just as I suspected. When Mukuro was just killed, as I thought, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. What? Huh? This wasn't supposed to... Why me? <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right! There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance! 
But she did teach you all a very I guess she had to be quite a performer to do Monokuma. How can you talk like that? You sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Jeez. Misunderstanding sure are scary. <laughs> we were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectations. Nope. I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, Unusual Guys, babies normally cry. We're just those kinds of people. We can do anything. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. <laughs> we were twins. How could I not be sad? Oh, she's got a little mushrooms on her head. Gets me so excited. <laughs> Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. It's like super, 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 super despair. You know, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. It just feels so good. What the hell is wrong with you? And my What the hell? In that moment of death, I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister and only as an example to someone else. She must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. Super, 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 super jealous. You couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Like... Genocide Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts! You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? So, I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. <laughs> no, I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Thank you, be happy with. Yeah, Master's way more perfect. Cause on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. <laughs> oh, okay. That you mean had that noble blood? What did you just say? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow. You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are. Yap, yap, yapping away! Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer! So how about the next one? <laughs> Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories! Then you can start floating! Damn straight! Very much like that. Much more like what that. We're going to do. We're going to solve all these mysteries. And then we'll have our victory! <laughs> I can't wait! Alright, then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? <laughs> when the current pictures were taken? And those interviews? It must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance exams! <laughs> Don't dare! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges, all drippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? Hey. Thinking back to what Monokuma told us. Memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to. 
compounding the class trials the motives i don't know how it's related to either of these i got it i got it you're talking about the motives you provided okay, well, that was to the right one. get us to kill Good guess. Other, right talking about the motives you provided to... oh i see so it's like okay so were they the reason why we well I would uh, hope you decided to agree to, so in that interview. Uh, it was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? So one was money. One was we'll kill your family. Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. <laughs> when Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? It was the video. The theme for the motive Monokuma gave us for the first murder... Monokuma gave us those DVDs. On my DVD, there was footage of my family. On Sayaka's was her and her friends. They had a dream they all shared. So for, for the first murder, the motive we were given was... Human connections. I got it. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got ding, it. Ding, ding, ding. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed <laughs> the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. Your family. It's my favorite For voice example, that she's doing. Your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. Mm. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But you know, what? what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. second murder the motives theme was that's when we got those weird envelopes from monokuma oh my oh it was like um things that you were ashamed of uh, mine mentioned how i used to wet the bed so the theme a strong heart meaning of life past, past. I, got it. I got it it was our past right yay makoto got it right again <laughs> That's right. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, relax. Okay, on to the next question. So, question. what was the motive for the third murder? The theme for the third murder was money. The reason Celeste turned to murder was she wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men. So that time the motive for murder was popularity and his greed because it was I got it. millions of dollars. It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! <laughs> Goddamn straight it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain! Destruction. What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more. It's to supposed go. to be part of the secret or something. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura? Motive is supposed to indicate death? something. Uh, the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death. Okay. The motive in the case of Sakura's death was, what was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? Uh, well, she felt like they turned on her. 
got to do with the Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. So the theme of the motive for that fourth case was blackmail seek betrayal. I got it. In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see. <laughs> this is five personalities that she has. Once I revealed some just four. betrayal that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like anyway. you answered all of my questions correctly. How oh, painfully delightful. <laughs> what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, Yeah, I think right? maybe it's four personalities that she's showing. Totally middle of the road. Don't know why. But of course, those aren't the only... Oh, hang on. We've got the, uh, the queen one as well, so that's five. In fact... Many reasons to kill as there are people on earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This <laughs> is what we refer to as the seed of despair. Seed of despair? Hmm. Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? <laughs> Weren't we My words exactly. Memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. Okay. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? Because there's a... Uh, and plus, you haven't given awful us any thing that we've been anyway. made to forget. Which is why we agreed uh, to stay here forever. Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? Okay. <laughs> <Correcto> mundo! <laughs> Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress. More despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the shavings on to you, let me give you a... Shavings? Huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. The outside world. You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You wanna see what's out there? So was it Junko or Makuro that did the, uh, the tragedy that happened at Hope Speak? See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> Open sesame! Hmm. Behold the world beyond the school walls! Behold the world beyond the school walls. This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to climb. 
play your way back into. Okay. What's it gonna be? Fire and brimstone. <laughs> oh no, there's Monokuma on every statue. Riot. We should recognize it. What about it? Should we recognize? This whole thing is insane. That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, because it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember. Ain't a fucking excuse no more. Cause now it's time for the final class trial. The final class trial. Okay. What about Genocide Jack? Will she remember? Yes, it was the right thing. Genocide Jack will remember. She might remember. Who might remember? The other token. Genocide Jack. Why would she though? The two of memories are memories. Kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? Okay. I see. Their memories I'll take that separate. logic. Then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? <laughs> what do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No, absolutely not. That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity. Toko. You're the only one we can rely on. Achoo! <laughs> Achoo! Yeah, said it. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. <laughs> Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. <laughs> All these characters are so crazy. Who the hell are you? Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. <laughs> So weird about that. Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but the person died. <laughs> Can you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do. So you didn't lose your memory. Of course yet? I do. Then why didn't you say something? Oh my god, she's the worst liar in the world. 
more importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? Right, so the tragedy was much bigger than just in the school. A tragedy? What is the tragedy? So stupid. The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. <laughs> that's all there is to it? Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there. Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics. Miss Morose saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. <laughs> matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. It's just a boy to try and get us to stay in the school. It's, it's the world! Calm down. It's okay. There's no need to panic. There's no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. Oh, wow. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. All right. Hey, hey, so, what do you think happened to the Tagami family? <laughs> okay, well, it's one of these then. But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? I think you might be sick. Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? They just what trying the to about? cause more despair. I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. It's all perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! So the Takami uh, uh, family lineage, which is what he based his whole personality around, has all perished. So, and said with such authority, a peasant would dare challenge us, the avatar of divine punishment. You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. They, they couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. It's all right, yeah, yeah. They probably haven't gone. No world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. But hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Huh? I don't make sense. 
there's no way that happened a year ago. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. No, we didn't. We've been here for a year. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds right. like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened <laughs> more recently, right? Two years ago? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Yeah, you think they'd physically change? Wait, what? Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this chick trying to say? Yeah, they'd have grown up. I understand why you have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? Right. What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us. Answer with all your heart. Well, it's so our time at the actual school, isn't it? How are we supposed to answer? I, I just don't know what's going on anymore. Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us. What Junko says is true. If we first came here two years ago, the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so. So the memories she took from us are the entire past, the tragedy, our life at Hope's Peak. That I one. Got I got it. If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Yeah, this is like being broadcast. Who's it being broadcast to if the whole world is in chaos right now. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? You've lost two years worth of memories? It's pretty hard to believe. That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. <laughs> that, that's not possible. I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. That's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe. I want it to be impossible, but if that's the truth, then we have to accept it. Oh, so many pieces of evidence. Uh, oops. I could never lose something like that. Have you been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! Oh, it is. I haven't got to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! There we go. No, it's wrong! Because his notepad had all of his uh, Hero, notes in from class or something, right? Look at. This notebook right here. Huh? I'm showing you it now. Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room. Maybe on the three hours floor. after I should have shown it to you. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. Don't break but his I've brain. never seen this notebook before in my life. <laughs> wizza, wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. <laughs> this is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt. 
But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No. No way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, mm. you forgot all about it. Lies. It's so it does look like we actually lie. did lose memory, but was it really two years? I don't want to go with either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. mine and the handwriting inside is also mine there's no doubt about it but just like hero i have no memory of ever writing in it and the reason for that is the two years of missing memories <laughs> after seeing all the evidence do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth hmm I like punk rock junker the best. Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Hell yes! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that... I like that Toby is still celebrating. Hey! The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you've forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. Oh. Stuff. What? Explaining stuff is boring. We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks There's something big, that's missing. Declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring. <laughs> what are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest of yourselves. I'm sick of expositioning all this shit. Figure out what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Okay. Where our memories come apart. She talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories. I can only think of one time. Just after I set in front of the main hall for the first time, and that was... At the entrance ceremony when I got my acceptance letter. When I fainted. I got it. The moment I lost my memories. I can't think of any time other than that day. When I first came to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall. When I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. <laughs> um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. I assume not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. Okay. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! The reason it felt so short was because... Our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? You got it, honey! Two years of memories? <laughs> gone! Which means, of course... When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> yep, that's what they reveal! You were all such Then what are we missing? Is it really two years? That's already been annihilated! 
it what seems like just it's a tail. it's just another tail to no, to just keep it. us stuck in here to like you know perpetuate that feeling of despair you're the one who set things up to be like this i love you all so much <laughs> what once your school life here began i thought about you constantly it's only natural that i would fall in love so since i love you guys so much i'll tell you all about it wow okay but we'll hear all about it next time on borderline games Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Uh, have a good evening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.